Hey, what's going on? Um, I'll play you just a little bit of this song, and then um, I'll get the teaching of it right afterwards. Yeah, cool. Um, so most of the song just kind of stays on those four chords over and over and over again. Um, by the way, to play with the recording, you need a capo on the first fret. Um, I'm going to teach it without the capo, but just so you know. Whenever you need me, whenever you want me. Um, just keeps on going. Um, so yeah, but I'm going to teach it without the capo, just in case people don't have capos out there. So anyway. Um, Here's the chords. Pretty much just four chords, like I said. Um, here's how I'm doing this. First one's a B minor. So the way I'm doing my B minor, I'm putting my ring finger out here on the third fret, um, second string, and I'm putting these two guys on the second fret. He's on the fifth string. He's on the third string. Shooting for five on that B minor. Um, the next one we need is an A to get to an A. The way I'm doing my A is I'm just going to drop my first finger by one. That'll be an A, kind of. A sus four. Looks good. D. Um, next one I'm going to do is a D. The way I'll do my D is just middle fingers off. This guy is on the second fret, third string. Shooting for four. Then my G. This guy comes to the third fret, um, sixth string. This guy is the second fret, fifth string. Then my pinky comes down to the, that first string there. Yeah. Um, Here's how I'm doing the strumming. So I'm kind of like. Down, down, down. Down, down, down. So kind of slow it out. Down, down, down. Down, down, down. down. Got a little confused when I did it super slow. Um, usually, when I'm kind of like doing my up and down thing, is when I'm kind of making the transition. So here we go from the B minor. I'll call them out as we go. I'm going to start slow. B minor. Alright, so start on the D minor again. To A, to D, to G, to B minor, to A, to D, to G. Whenever you need me, whenever you want me, you can call me, I'll be there shortly. other chords we need to go over real quick. Um, the bridge goes back and forth like this. Okay, um, here's the way I'm doing this. So this guy is on 8. These guys are on 10. Now, if you have, if you're doing with the the recording with the capo on the first fret, it'll be one higher. So I'll show that in a moment. So instead of being on the eight, if you were capo the whole time and you were doing the chords on the capo, you'd be at nine and then eleven. So anyway, um, here's how I'm doing these power chords. This guy is on the eighth. These guys are on the tenth. Um, then I'm only hitting those three. to the 10 to 12. No matter where you are, back. There when it's over, back. Running on the star. Whenever you need me, whenever you want me, you can just call me. I'm in the show lane, 
to say. Yeah. Um, so yeah, if if I was capoed out there on the first fret, like that. Whenever you need me, whenever you want me, then one side. Now I'm going to do just kind of like some strumming along with with the chorus. Um, if you want to try playing along with it, I'll bring it a little bit closer to speed, but I'll still keep it slowed down just a little bit. Um, I'll call it the first four chords, and then after that it just kind of keeps on repeating. So here we go, start with the B minor. Song, you kind of like it. So, anyway, uh, thanks for watching. See ya.